Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So let's continue playing as the Chichen Itza, and yes, this will be the final episode in this campaign. We are going to kill Volpus and his bad boy legions. So, now, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't know if I have to fade out, fade in, to actually show you that I did it. But, right now, I know that we could take a lot of land in the northeastern sector of our line. And we will push in a little bit, but I'm not going to force too much. The goal isn't to take land as much as it is to kill enemies' divisions. That's really what I'm here and inclined to do. So let's do that. And I will continue to ensure that we strike the enemies' divisions appropriately. So, uh, where are you guys at? Is there a specific... Ah, oh, you're supposed to be over here. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take some land in the northeast. I could do a massive battle, like a massive push. But I do not feel secure in our acquisition of resources at the moment. So, because we only have 3,700 men left, I still have to be very careful how much manpower we are using. So, unfortunate, I know. But Kaisar, or really Vulpus. If I say Kaisar, just assume I'm saying Vulpus. He has up to a max of 127 divisions, which is not bad compared to our... 257 plus 18 spec ops and with my spec ops i'm still going to encircle more and more divisions no matter what the cost you guys are doing well doing very well very good now i'm trying to encircle one more division here specialized alloys more hardness for our robots that we will never use um fighter detection sure might be losing a battle there that's okay for now go ahead and keep expanding no one's going to stop you right now. Take everything you can from them. Getting attacked. That's fine. We actually don't need that tile, so hold on. You guys can take that one division out. That's only one division. Isn't worth very much. But it's still one less division that we have to kill. After you come that way. Nice, that division died. Good, good, good. Spec Ops, please get to your point in the line as fast as possible, because we are just still going to micromanage our way through this country. Or, through our enemies. Ooh. Keep one guy here. Tupel, you got anything for me? Nope. Alright. One more division, even though it's only a great con division. That's still okay with me. Ooh, you do not need to be attacking right now. And... Good. You seem healthy, you seem healthy. Go ahead and do that. Alright. More, more, more killing enemy divisions. That's the name of the game at this point. Go ahead and do that. Very nice. Eventually, by the end of this episode, we will have a massive push towards Vulpus's capital. So I am not really worried about that. Awesome. We're down here. We'll be fighting in some very terrible terrain. Seeing the tiles is a little difficult right now. Cool, come over here. And I want you to come all the way down over here. We're going to cut off all these divisions. And that will be beautiful. Truly a masterpiece. A work of art, some would say. Awesome, come up here. You likewise. They want to do that, we'll do this. Good. Wings... Wingson? If we take Wingson, we can get some more air bases around here, probably. Air bases are important. Very, very important. Spec Ops are going. They're doing a great job. I have some coffee here, too. Ah, uh, I love coffee. Too much. Too much. Ooh. Three more delightful, tasty divisions. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright, so they put some soldiers back over here, which is fine with me. That just means I have more opportunities to encircle and surround and destroy our enemies. But yes, if you're wondering about tomorrow's video, since it's going to be a new campaign, it's going to be a completely different mod. The mod's name starts with K. And in addition to player-led peace conferences, colored buttons, colored events, and stuff like that. It'll be a very interesting time. Especially the country I'm choosing, because... It's a country I really haven't played before. It's going to be... Difficult because of how Kaiserreich operates. Because, you know, whenever you start Kaiserreich, no Kaiserreich game really is the same every time you play it. So, it'll be interesting to see 
what happens and what I can do to make it okay for us. And actually leave one of you guys at home. So that way you don't get surrounded. We have just encircled quite a few divisions. Do these enemies have any sort of ports? Or am I going to watch these boys starve and die? Yes, I am. But you know what? Be you know what's better than watching my boys starve and die? Using my Papa's division to kill enemies that are going to starve and die. That's much better. Go right ahead, my friends. We should be able to defend anywhere along this line. Now we need to push further up north. So, give me all but one. Y'all attack this way. And then y'all attack that way when you're done. Nice. And they'll come up here. And... Oh. And you come that way. There you go. You guys push up. Oh, you guys... Oh, that's another tile. Cool. Very good, very good. And actually, there's two divisions here. We take one and you come around here. Maybe that would be nice. Then us. Hmm. Over here is not super good right now. Enemy divisions. They still have a little over 100. Subsurface propulsion. Very good. Even though I'm never really going to even use them. And that's okay. Uh, you guys can attack this way, probably. Let them starve. Oh, you guys are trying to attack, but you're not doing super well. And that's okay. Um, don't want to use my own puppet's man... My own manpower. I can use my puppet's manpower. Just not my own manpower right now. My manpower is precious. Their manpower is negligible. Very good. Go ahead and move in. And send the spec ops. Send them down this way. Oh, send them this way, actually. You get one division that way. Send another one that way. Crush them. Oh, they're already crushed. Love it. Crushed them like peanuts. Very good. Ah, 11 divisions. Never had a chance. Abestos lining? I love Abestos lining. Anti-air? Sure, why not? And there we go. Oh, Tohono Nation declared war on Volpus's Legion. Oh, I really wasn't expecting that, but I will welcome you right now, for now, with somewhat open arms. Um, actually, I could probably get rid of Emilio Guerrero. Guerrero. Right, oh, give me that too. I can have one massive front line. That might not be bad. So, using our puppets. And you. Come here. Come here. Sorry, Emilio. We don't exactly need you right now, but I'm sure you would do a great job nonetheless. Nice. That's really nice. That's really, really good. So, if we want to attack and continue to destroy enemy divisions, we're going to not attack in the mountains, probably. Or at least we'll try to attempt to avoid the mountains. So we'll go up here and do something like that. We're going to cut off a large, well, hopefully a large portion of enemy forces. 3.71 thousand manpower. I love it. You guys are doing okay. Come this way. Awesome. Oh, and... They're not doing anything over here. Okay, well, I might as well make this a little better for us then. Very good. Very good. I'm not going to attack until I have a good encirclement around here. Since you probably honestly don't need to do Gulf of Mexico anymore, come over here. Oh, unless you already are doing it over here. Uh, where are you guys? Moving to assigned fleet area. Hmm. Oh, so you... The Rio Grande. Oh, it's huge. That's massive. It's all the way up to here. But then I need you to do up there as well, so... Cool, so you do both. You'll definitely need some more show. Oh, look at all those extra ships we have now. Do we have any better battle cruisers? There we go. I don't want. I want to mix them up with both of them. That'd be very nice. Do that, and make me another one with. Very good. Very nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Now it's another small little encirclement. Good, good, good stuff. Ooh, five divisions over here and another one over there. Very beautiful. Not a lot of divisions are getting encircled right now, but that's okay, because Vulpus has to pull some divisions. Oh my goodness, Tohono Nation is really doing a number on them. Uh, guys, please, for the love of God, do not attack if you don't need to. Um... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! 
One expedition too far. I'm not playing as a robot. Kalumte has been injured badly at the moment. Details are sparse. All we know is that the Kalumte was hit at medium range while inspecting troops on the northern border at dusk. I'm not a robot. I'm. Wait, what? The bullet appeared to have entered his spine and punctured a lung. The Kalumte swiftly felt unconscious, but is clinging to life for the moment. His dreams were surely shattered by blood in the dark. Rulers come and go, but will our kingdom fall up? Oh my gosh. Critic. Jahon Clara, not my woman. Oh, wait, it's only 2288. Why does that happen again? I've actually found a legit bug. Holy crapperoni. This is not cool. Um. Well then. This is not good. I mean, yeah, I've been playing this mod for a while, but. I'm a little confuzzled as to why that just happened. I'm not, like, at war with anybody, am I? Oh, but I got a lot of... I got so many extra divisions here. Thank God. Um, oh, this is going to be fun. We're going to we're gonna do a massive push that Vulpus won't be able to contain. I need all these soldiers on this side as we focus a little bit for right now on using our Spec Ops to encircle some more soldiers. So, we'll do that. But yeah, I don't understand. The Columpte, he already died. That was earlier in this playthrough. Like, within the first, like, three or four episodes, I'm pretty sure... That doesn't make any sense. But you know what? This is Old World Blues. And we roll with the punches as best we can. Now, this doesn't really hurt too much else. Ooh. So, I need to get some more stability. Seize on patriotism. No. Focus on the internal sphere. Well, we need some more war support as well, but I guess I'll do that. There's... I don't know why that happened. Do we have political... Inst why? Why do we have political instability? Clara is great. She's a popular figurehead. Things start. What the heck? A society in collapse? A power struggle is going to begin again? Oh my goodness! I'm not going to read this. I'm not reading this because I already read this earlier. Uh, did did my focus tree reset or something? Like, can can I can I go can I go with someone else like Guns and Glory now in the impossible possible? Can, uh, I really don't like what just happened. I don't understand this whatsoever. We get less attack, less defense. What the heck? Now, this is a legit bug. And I'll, I'm not frustrated right now. But I'm probably going to be. This really shouldn't hurt our capacity to win wars. But I'm very, very concerned right now. Very, very concerned. Because this is a legit bug. Hmm. Normally, I don't really encounter too many legit bugs, but I guess I found my first one. Ah, oh, that's disappointing, to say the least. But, the show must go on. With, what is this? With 40% less political power, with even less political power, division attack, construction speed, output, defense. Oh my gosh, what is going on? And Binky's calling at my door. My apologies, I'll be right back. Binky! Binky! Yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Binky. Alright, I'm back. So, yeah. We already get 30% less attack. Now, that's making things... The end of this campaign. Very interesting, I'll say the least. I mean, luckily, I've been already killing a lot of Vulpus' divisions. Which is great. Right, Bink? Hey, buddy. How you doing? The day of Ka'an. Alright, that's not bad. Oh, God. Next year's looks poor. I need stability to raise it higher. Oh, God. So what happens if it happens? Severe civil unrest. Well, let's not. Let's hope we don't get there. We need to finish this up within a year of them. Right, Bibi? Yeah, Mimi. All right. Oh, my. We might need to try that extremely hard. Yeah, we could probably try that push now. The divisions that the enemies have aren't... They're just not enough for them to hold us all back. So, put you guys up near the top-ish. Everyone prepare yourselves. Oh, and you guys made it over here. Great. Let's make sure we never get to that day of Ka the next day of Ka'an. Because we can't do that. It's just no go, man. No go. No go, no flow. Right, Bibi? That's right. Alright, so. The Tohono Nation's doing a great job since they probably didn't have too many divisions on their border against Vulpus. Or Vulpus didn't have that many divisions. We killed a lot of guys. Holy crap. They've, actually, oh, they've already lost 2,000. Not bad. 
What's their manpower like? Okay, so the, surprisingly, they have less than me. They have a crap ton of division, so this is the end of our enemy here. Nice, they're trying to attack us. They took Wingston for a little bit. Alright, give me about a few more seconds, and then I'm just going to unleash hell. Just, I gotta go balls to the wall, some would say. Ooh, unobstructive piloting. Very nice. Alright, boys and girls, we're almost ready. We are almost ready to launch a great invasion. Ah, oh, I gotta love coffee. It looks like everyone's pretty much poised to go. I'm tired of waiting. We are going to go with 3,500 men left in reserve. We are going to go extremely hard. We are going to break the Legion. Here we go, my friends. Oh, wow, that's a lot of green and then a lot of not green. Ooh, because the green went away super fast. We are pushing hard now. Vulpus, thank you for causing a civil war in Kaisar's Legion, to the point where you cannot contain the beast that is Chichen Itza anymore. We'll make sure everyone knows that the Neo-Mayans, Neo-Mayans, are much better than the Neo-Romans, especially because since the Neo-Romans had a civil war. And the fiends are still here. Huh. Alright, losses are piling in. Good, good, good. Uh, what about ground control? 60? 60 some attacks, pretty good. Does anyone need to be moved up or oh, individually? East Chihuahua. Uh, you guys come over here, that sounds pretty good to me. No, all the other planes are doing fine. Very good. Very nice, very good. This is the end of Vulpus's Legion, but this is close to where we will end the campaign. Because I might need to take out the Tohono Nation as well as Genta de Sol, but it seems like it's going to take forever for us to justify on them. Holy crap, that's a long time away. Yeah, I don't know why those focuses reset or the crisis happened again. Because Calumte is he's long gone. Tahoon? And now, our t diplomat, Clara Guzman, she got, like, shot in the spine or something. And, um, yeah. Not good. Not good. Not good whatsoever. No, we're not winning down here. Oh, now we are. Ah, it's because we're using our puppets' divisions. Oh, it looks like we have a, an encirclement here. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Uh, these guys might need a little bit more help. My spec ops, as great as they are, they can't fight six or seven divisions by themselves. So, yeah. Red Bing, you okay? Yeah, Bing. Oh, look at those guys. They're, and they are gone. Beautiful. Yeah, Bing. Yeah, you okay? Come on, take a nap. Even though you've been taking a nap all day long. Oh, yeah, with the Tohono Nation, they're backstabbing them. It's just... Not really in backstabbing, just put being there. So good. Oh. Oh, it actually happened. Power's in the air. Oh, Columpt is not here to save us. Oh, no. Right now, we are the intellectuals. Could I go with Carlos? Random events will try to impede our progress. Should Carlos not win? You know what? Let's say screw it. Let's only Carlos can save us right now. The game is on. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! Oh no 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 no! These aren't unlocked. Oh wait, we have to do this thing first, right? Oh, there's probably no way I can have Clara win now. Um. Ooh, more war. I could actually use more war support. Consumer goods. Yeah, I could. I could definitely use that war support right now. Um. We'll let time go on for now. Uh, technocracy goes down. Remove a dockyard. Oligarchy. I get... Ooh, more manpower. That's not much more manpower, but 300 is still better than nothing. Revy Bink, you okay? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'll take whatever benefits I can get. All right. Division-wise, Vulpus has still over 100. I'm really surprised he has over 100 uh, divisions still. It's a little bit surprising to me, but okay, we got coach guns that, we don't, that we're that we not going to use. Tohono Nation, you're not going to get a lot of this. I'm going to make sure that, uh, yeah, maybe you'll get a little bit. If I had, like, more time and the patience to deal with a second Columte's death. Ooh, technocracy. Oh, oh, a new division of Merodeodoros. Sabotager? I don't want to sabotage her. 
Tree Columte? Technocracy? If we can revive the Columte right now, that'd be amazing. Oh, a raid? Oh, oh come on. Uh, why? You know what? I don't even need Nuevo Sumero de Adoros. And you're only 10 combat with where my other divisions are 20. But I'll take your manpower. Thank you. Oh, uh, they're going to backstab us here. That kind of sucks. Um, just continued defenses are just going to ruin Volpus. So that's really my goal. Even if they might slide in through here, this back way. I mean, they're going to be cut off eventually, which will be great. Really just great. All right, Bink. That's right. How are you guys doing? You guys are doing okay over here? Ooh. Very nice. How far? Vulpus is 31% of the way towards capitulation. Interesting. Right, Mimi? Yeah. You want some coffee? I already finished my coffee, though. Sorry, Bink. Yeah? Yeah, B Bink. Oh, just... This game, man. You know what? Let's, let's send our spec up this way. Come on down south. Have a good time. Have a barbecue. Even if... I don't know if the Mayans have barbecues, but maybe they do. Where'd you go, Bink? Um, so yeah. Very interesting. Do that area as well if you can. Oh. Oh, cut these guys off. If you could cut these guys off, that would be probably the best thing you could... Oh, you might have already done that. Red Sun City, of course, is kind of a problem. Carlos encourages enlistment. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I don't want to lose political power. I'm not even going to read these events anymore because they really don't apply to us. Back up some down there. Very nice. Very good casualties. Very nice. Mm, they didn't change too much. They've lost a quarter of a million men, which is nice. Yeah, Binky. He's kind of walking around my room right now. Not really sure what he's doing. Uh, a few more. Oh, we're all the way up there now. How, wait, how do we get up there? It looks like this is cut off. Huh. My ships can go through cities or villages and then get onto back onto the water. Hmm. I wonder if my ships have wheels at the bottom of them. Yeah, Bing, come on. Jump on my bed. Oh, hello there. What are you doing, Vulpus? Why are your convoys down here? Yeah, come on, Bink. I know you're overweight and really need more exercise, but you can jump still. Yeah, baby. Interesting. All right, we're pushing in that way, pushing in all sorts of different ways. Very nice. Does anyone have upgrades? That's something you should always ask. Is, can anyone be upgraded? Are they like robots? Can they be upgraded and put and be given new materials and new things to slot into them? Oh, yes. Infantry. And yes, beautiful. What do we got? We got an air base raid. Give me some more ground attack, because that's all I live for in Old World Blues. Dude. Oh, no longer get the effects of four year plan resource exploitation. So are we losing resources? No, we got plenty enough resources now. Nice. We actually sunk that. We sunk a battle barge. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, produce consumer goods. Sure. Hold a parade. Sorry, I know if you really want to read this, it doesn't, just doesn't make too much sense for me to read this now, since we've already done this before. A few more cronies. Yeah, let's do that. Claire appears with a Colomte. We'll fire back in our own way. You know, I clicked on an, on Carlos. I really wonder if that's going to actually hurt us a lot. I hope it doesn't. I really, really hope it doesn't. I'm not going to raid. I don't want to lose manpower. I want more war support, though. Yeah, that'd be good. I hope it doesn't hurt us. I hope we're not in a civil war. Because if we're in a civil war, I'm going to fade this out and kind of redo it. Because I'm not going to do that. No way, man. No stinking way. Go ahead and stop attacking for now. Reform your front line since the Tohono Nation is just being strange. Go and do that. These guys over here on the right are okay. Red Pink, you okay? More. Uh, ooh. I mean, we're sinking a lot of enemy convoys. Well, maybe not a lot at one time, but overall, not bad. I don't know why you have so many convoys around here, though, uh, Vulpus. Doesn't make too much sense, but you know what? I really shouldn't complain about that. Go ahead and get ready. Reorganize yourselves. It doesn't look like we've really lost that much manpower. Which is great. Oh, you're still getting that, guys. Good job, Spec Ops. Good job. You deserve an extra cookie or something. You deserve an extra Mayan cookie. Nice. Very nice. 
All right, you guys are pretty almost good to go. Area denial. Produce consumer goods. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Courage enlistment. Yeah. Hold a parade. Now do organize that. Why not? Anything else? I really hope that doesn't bite me in the butt, because if it does, I'm going to have to do a little bit of editing. I mean, we're killing all of their ships. Well, there's less than a thousand, and they actually have a lot more ships than what we're used to, but they have definitely less manpower, but it's around the same amount of divisions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, little laggy, that's okay. Ah, uh, the spec ops are done. Nice. I'm going to leave this area up to the right army. We're going to leave you guys over here. Oh. Go ahead, guys. No worries. Resume the position. Oh, Jose, do you have anything for me? No? Okay. Jose Maria Corona. He makes alcohol. Maybe. And there's a lot of resistance going on here. I wonder what the when the next DLC drops. Whatever it is with the Spanish focus trees and whatnot. I wonder. Uh, how will resistance play out in Old World Blues? Probably the same as base game. Yeah, give me that. We'll fire back in our own way. Yeah. Give me that manpower. We, by attacking and conserving some of our own manpower, we're actually getting more manpower than what we started with. Wild. Absolutely wild. Ooh, heavy machine guns. That I'll never use. How about a naval ram? Combat barge, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. I've got homework to do. Oh well, I don't care. Um, look at our puppet. You know, oh wait, those are. Oh, we already annexed our puppet. No wonder they're not doing super well. Basic foundry. I should not have annexed them. I should have given their pu their divisions back first, and then should have uh, annexed or gotten rid of their divisions. Let's see. Fifteen ground attack. A bomber has six. A nu uh, we can't do nuclear stuff. No. But a rotary engine bomber has 9, and an assault airship has 30. So, I'm going to do this. Combat blimps. Thank you very much. Ah, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, going all the way to Nova Romana... Quite a ways away. Quite a ways away. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, encourage some enlistment. Ah, uh, yeah. Sabotage or recruitment? No, thank you. Okay, go ahead and try to treat the Columptic, because if he comes back after being dead for like 10 years, I'm going to be very surprised. Like, if Clara can, like, raise Columptic from the dead, I'm going to be like, whoa. Who, how much human sacrifice did you have to do to get that done? But, I mean, supplies are pretty good, except for power armor, but we don't even use power armor. It just... This is just going to take a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Hmm. So we're getting there, we're getting there. I know we're approaching the half-hour mark very soon. But we're doing a great job, nonetheless. The Tohono Nation's actually stalled out a little bit, at least compared to what we've been doing. Uh, Vulpus, they still have a lot of divisions. Tohono Nation, they've actually... Holy cow, they've actually lost all their manpower. Which they didn't have a bunch to start with. But they lost a couple of their own divisions. Kind of interesting. That's fine. Go and do that. Let it pan out. I would like to hold early elections. But I don't mind holding a military parade that gives us more war support. Halfway through until the next day of Ka'an, which we want to avoid. Which we, which we should be okay with. Do that next, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, beautiful. Ah, small little encirclement. But it doesn't look like there's a lot of divisions that we encircled. Oh, I told you to go, but you're not going. Did I didn't even give you orders? I might have. I can't remember. Yeah, I did give you orders. Whatever. Just go right on ahead. Casualties, honestly, haven't been that bad. I mean, 17.8 thousand versus 263.4. Those are pretty good. Pretty good odds, not gonna lie. Never tell me the odds. 
Cool. Let's do that. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Uh, up here. Take it. Just take it all. Produce consumer goods. Sure. Sure. Focus fire. Yep. Focus fire, guys. Um, you guys really don't have that any manpower left, and that's okay. I'll use you as bait. Oh, they're actually down here now, huh? Oh, it's because Vulpus is getting his butt kicked down in Baja, California. Interesting. Come on, take him out. Alright, come on. Oh, they're almost... They, we don't even need Nova Roma. Nova Roma. They're 98% of the way there already. Go and redo this. Do that. And do that. Oh, they actually navally invaded over here, maybe. Very nice. If I can take Dog City, it, yeah, it's over. It's over. Cool. So as you can tell by the score, we deserve pretty much everything. I might give to Hono Nation just a little bit, but that's pretty much going to be this campaign, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and give to Hono Nation. Um, I would like to annex them, but I don't have the time. I don't. I don't really want to do it. I would have liked to unite all of Mexico, but giving the certain 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 circumstances that this video has or this campaign video has given me I'm not too inclined to play this any much longer so um to Hono Nation I will give you a little portion of Mexico a little portion really not too much okay maybe I'll give you that there you go thank you and everything else it's very laggy but that's okay Sometimes we need it laggy. And that's good. Awesome. Thank you, Tohono Nation. I did most of the work. You didn't do very much. But that's pretty much the campaign. Now, I know I didn't annex Genta to Soul or Tohono Nation. But we're out of time. And really, with this game being a little glitchy, glitchy with political instability happening again, as well as a society in collapse, as well as a broken imperialism, I'm really not too inclined to play this. I mean, we're okay with manpower now, and I complained about that in, a, in another video, but I'm really not concerned about playing that, and I really don't want to do an, this again. We played it once. Don't really need to do it. So, either way, I mean, I had fun, especially in the beginning stages of this campaign. It's a lot of fun playing as Chichen Itza, but once you're past Nueva Atlan and fighting the robots, it's kind of more of a generic world conquest type of game, which isn't bad at all. It's just... I wish I wasn't limited by manpower, as well as these events popping up again. But anyways, um, that's the Chichen It's a campaign, guys. So, like I said, tomorrow we will start a new campaign. I already know who we're going to play as in the K mod. And it'll be an interesting time because playing as a relatively minor nation and trying to make them great, it's always a little interesting and difficult. Anyways, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching this video as well as this entire campaign. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And, yeah. I hope you enjoyed everything, guys. I really do. And I hope I will see you all tomorrow as we begin playing as a another European power. Thanks for watching.